Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lafez here. Uh, bringing you my post fight review of Bam Rodriguez on Juan Francisco, Francisco Estrada. Um, you know, Bam comes out, you know, showcasing his nice footwork, showing his angles, goes combinations together. Estrada, you know, trying to get into the fight, trying to land some shots on Bam, you know, uh, but Bam's dominating pretty much. Uh, but Estrada's still in the fight. In the third round, is it the yeah, the third round, he clipped Estrada with an uppercut, I believe. Uh, while wow, Estrada's back to the ropes and he had Estrada hurt, but Estrada managed to fight his way out. And in the fourth round, Bam, uh, Bam uh, Dex Estrada with a beautiful combination. I think it was like an uppercut first and then he clipped him with a right hook that dropped Estrada in the fourth round. Estrada, Estrada gets up, you can tell he's a little bit hurt, but you know, he manages to survive the you know, weather storm. And then the fifth round, can't really remember what happened in that round. And then in the sixth round, you know, Estrada clipped Bam coming in, you know, with a set still in the centre line. And he drops Bam for what? I think the first time in his career. You know, Bam gets up a smile on his face. You know, watching that live, I thought that was a bit of a shot. Uh, a bit of a shot the way he just caught him like that. Um, but he dropped Bam. You know, Bam gets up. He's not hurt, but he's just a bit more surprised than anything. And then the next round... There's two go toe to toe, and then Bam clips Estrada with a left to the body, and he crumples Estrada. And watching live, I thought, okay, maybe there's a possibility Estrada could get up from it. And he tries to get up, and then he crumples, and I was like, yeah, he ain't getting up from it. And Bam becomes the first person to stop Juan Francisco Estrada in his career. Now, um, good fight, insane fight. Um, Estrada did expose the weakness of Bam, which I've been talking about for a while. We can check back some old videos. I said that Bam's head movement can be a bit lackluster at times. I know people say, oh, Bam's got great head movement, this and that and the other. But there's times where he has his head in his centre line for far too long, which is how Estrada was able to clip him with that right hand down the pipe. He'd, be, he'd been throwing that one, two the entire fight. And watching live, I'd be thinking, he better watch out, keep him constantly throwing that. Otherwise, Bam's going to get get in there and time him while he's throwing it. You know, But he'd been looking for that shot the entire time because he knew that Bam Rodriguez his head movement, it can be a bit like luster at times. Like his head is still in the center line. He walks in without really, you know, moving his head. And he got clipped because of that. You know, and he got dropped. So that's something, you know, uh Bam and his team are gonna have to fix up. You know, but that was a that was a fun fight to watch. It was a fun fight to watch while I lasted. People asking for Bam to fight Chocolatito. Now on one hand I'm like, damn, Chocolatito is like really past it. But the second hand it's like you might as well complete the whole set. But apparently they're not going to fight because they're friends and, you know, they're close and close mates or stable mates and whatnot, which is a shame. Because there was a video recently which came out with them sparring together. But it's a shame if they're not going to fight each other because of that. That always is annoying to hear, you know. But, um, yeah, he's beat Quadras first. Then he beat Saul Rambasai. And then he beat Estrada. And, you know, Chocolatier is the last one left. Um, Estrada came into this fight a long layoff, you know, he hadn't fought since December 2022, which was the Chocolatito trilogy. And it does baffle me that he took that long out of the ring before, you know, um, before fighting here. Like, why did he not fight at all in 2023? Was he injured? Because I don't remember hearing about any fights being scheduled from in 2023, just deciding not to fight. So you take a long layoff like that and then you decide to go fight a killer like Ban Rodriguez. Going into it, that is a bit. That is a bit mad. You know what I mean. That is a bit mad. But he did. He did able to drop Bam. He did able to drop Bam, man. He was in a fight, but Bam, you know, was just better. But it's a shame because he probably would have done better had he just stayed active. Because before fighting Chocolatillo, um, in the third time, he had a he had a tune up before fighting Chocolatillo. You know, he, you know, he fought Chocolatillo the second time in March twenty twenty one. He didn't fight at all for the rest. But that year, he was scheduled to fight Chocolatillo again that year, but Chocolatillo had to pull out because he had an illness. And then he fought RG Cortez in a tough fight in 2022, September 2022. And then he fought Chocolatillo a couple of months afterwards, after that tough fight, you know. So he basically, you know, dusted off any cobwebs he had in that fight. But for some reason, he didn't do that for this fight, you know, which is a shame. So, but yeah, that's what I've got to say. Nice performance. Yeah, impressive. I do feel like people are going a bit over the top. You know, I know that Bam is fighting everyone that's in front of him, and that's all you can ask him to do. Because if he weren't fighting these guys, if he weren't fighting these guys, 
then you know people are gonna complain he ain't fighting him, which will be unfair on him, you know. But guys that he's been like Quadras, Sol Rumbasai, and now Estrada, you know, I think people get a bit too carried away because all these guys are past their prime. All these four kings, you know, or some of the four kings, I should say, they're being past their prime. Especially Sol Rumbasai. I mean, Sol Rumbasai hadn't fought for like a year prior to Bam beating him and stopping him. You know, I'm not sure, has he fought since he might have, but he's he's not really seen in the world picture nowadays. Um, so Rumbasai. And then we have Estrada. He didn't fight for what 18 months? 18 months before fighting Bam Rodriguez. You understand what I'm saying? And then Carlos Quadras, he didn't fight for his last fight was in before the Bam fight was what October 2020 when he got stopped by Juan Francisco Estrada. So you do October 2020 to February 2022. So, October 2021 will be an entire year. That's 12 months. And then October to February is four months. So, that's 16 month layoff. A 16 month layoff that Cordius had before beating Bam. Now, like I said, he's fine who's in front of him. You know what I mean? And Cordius still showed a bit, he showed that he was live in there. Same thing as Estrada, he did show that he's a bit live in there. But I do feel like people are getting a bit too, you know, gassed. You know, when he's fighting guys that are past their prime. Still good wins, you know what I mean? But I just feel like people need to pump the brakes a little bit. I know I'm probably going to get a bit of shit for this, but it's just the truth. You know, still good wins. I don't want to take it away from Bam. I'm not saying, oh, you can't give him credit at all. No, he's fighting the guys that are in front of him. You know, Estrada, Cordres was still live in the fight when Bam fought him. The only one that wasn't really that live was Saul Rumbasai. But to be fair, even if it was prime for prime, you know, the things, the problem that Saul Rumbasai has in this prime was still prevalent in the fan fight that he's slow footed and he winds up in his punches a lot and he's never had that much of a great defense you know but you know but still you know that wouldn't be any better you know when he's older and he's not fighting as often you know but I, yeah I feel like people should just you know pump the brakes a little bit you know and to be more of a jet side he did get one over Sonny Edwards who wasn't past his prime he was undefeated so, there's that. So, Bam's definitely got potential. I would like to see him fight some, you know, if he's not going to fight Chocolate 2, I'd like to see him fight some other guys. You know what I mean? You know, just build out that resume because he's still young. I mean, look at this shit. Look what he's doing right now. And then you compare that to Tank Davis, the fucking 30-year-old prospect. You understand what I'm saying? If that was, <laughs> like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. 24 years old and look at what he's doing right now. And then you compare it to Tank Davis. It's just not even the close. It's not even close, man. But yeah, anyways, Bam's, uh, you know, value for entertainment. And yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing more of him soon. Anyways, that's all I've got to say. For first, I'm out. Peace.